Hello, welcome to this lesson on squaring using the peg board. If you've never done squaring before, this lesson is for you. A square has four equal sides in a specific shape. This is the type of shape we're going to build using the peg board. Have a look at my peg board. This is our pegboard, and here is our container with pegs. Just like the stamp game, the green pegs show units, the blue pegs show tens, and the red pegs show hundreds. The green would also, also show units of thousands or units of millions, but we'll get to that later. Today, we will just be using our green pegs to build the square. We're going to do the sum 4 squared. This is how to write 4 squared. The tiny little 2 at the top is called an exponent. That shows this number, in our case 4, is multiplied by itself. So it's the same as saying 4 times 4. Let's try to find out, using our pegboard, what 4 squared will be. I'm going to write my sum on this paper. We are doing 4 multiplied by 4. We will start in the bottom right hand corner of the pegboard with our first peg showing 1. But we are doing 4. Remember, we need to build a square. So if we're building 4 pegs this way, we also need Four pegs this way. This peg is already there. We don't need to count it again. It goes this way and this way. This is the start of my square. I have four multiplied by four. And when I fill my square up, I will have a perfect square showing the square of 4. You might see the similarity between this 4 squared and the yellow 4 squared on our bead frame. Do you remember working with that? Now we could just count these pegs to find the answer, but I'd like to show you how to exchange the green for blue. We know that there are 10 units in a 10. So we can exchange 10 of these units for a 10. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. I can see that this is less than 10. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. I cannot exchange them. I'm going to put them next to my 10 to show the answer. Here is my answer. It shows 1, 10, and 6 units. Let's write that down. We find out that 4 squared is the same as 1, 10, and 6 units. 16. 4 squared is 16. Now you know how to use the pegboard to do squaring sums of your own. You could even go up 
to 12 or 15 or 22 squared, depending on the number of holes that you have in your pegboard. You could use the virtual pegboard for my classroom and on the maths tab to try and work out some squaring sums. If you don't feel like just using the virtual pegboard, you could use any small objects that you could manipulate with your hands. You could use beans or buttons or beads or even bits of paper to show the pegs. Remember to exchange if you have anything more detailed. Thank you for joining me for this lesson. I'll see you later.